Hi everybody and welcome back to the Groomsman channel. This is Scott. It's been a while. It is uh, after my birthday. I'm now 34 years old. And today I have something special, alright? And I have something special. My birthday was June 25th. I've always said it's the best birthday to have. Because you're not too close to the opposite side of Christmas or too close to Christmas coming up to Christmas. Where your parents couldn't screw you over as a kid and say, hmm... Well, you know, his birthday and Christmas are only a month apart. We'll, you know, we'll hook him up. June 26th, or June 25th. It is literally six months either way from Christmas, the best birthday you can have. Um, and growing up for the longest time, no one ever had that birthday. It was just me. So, uh, it was last Saturday. I celebrated with my family, and we celebrated the weekend before, too. I've been gone hunting for razors. Unfortunately, I didn't find the one that I was looking for. I spent four days uh, and hit up over 40 antique stores, uh, four different estate sales, two flea markets, and about nine thrift stores, including over those four days. My wife and my daughter went to every single one of them. My wife actually found more stuff that she wanted than I found. But what's so special about today's shave? Tell me. Well, what's so special about today's shave? First off, is the groomsman bought me this, all right? This is a shave soap. It's called Light Blue by Master Soap Creations. And my guess is it's a copy or clone of... There's a... Uh, I can't remember the maker of it. Off the, I think it's DG, whoever that... You know, uh, I remember seeing it. But at the moment, who it is escapes me called Light Blue... And it's somewhat a copy of that. So the groomsman for my birthday bought me this and the matching splash for it. That's going to be used today. It's not loaded. It's smushed in the bottom bowl. It's a soft soap. has a good scent. has some... Uh, it does smell like it has some menthol to it. But it's a very... It's a copy of... It's light blue is the name of it. I wish I could remember it. But that's somewhat special. But what's even more special... As you may see something hanging up back here, you see a strop. This is a little strop. This is from an auto, Valley Auto Strop. This is an authentic strop from there. Uh, Valley Auto Strop, as you can see, all right? I'm gonna be stropping something today. Well, what were you gonna be stropping? No, it's not a straight razor, but it is very reminiscent of those times. So here's the original box for this razor. The snap is missing. This is tore off a little bit. But it still is functioning. This is a gem cutlery. Jim Damanskini open comb. This is one of the very first op uh, gems that was ever made that's non-lather catcher, okay? It's the preemptive 1912 type patent because there is a patented 1912 stamp on this. When this is from, I don't exactly know. I know it's one of the very first gems ever made, and it is very, very old. The handle is a two-piece. This slides into the handle, and it has a type of octagon here. Or not octagon. Hexagon type shape where you would put a blade in here and you would strop it. So to try to make this special, this is actually a very mild razor compared to most gems. I'm not a gem fan. I hate gems, to be honest with you. There isn't a gem that I found I like. I do not like Micromatic Open Combs. I do not like Clog Proof Micromatics. The other 1912 Closed Combs. The Gem Juniors. You name it. I'm not a gem fan, alright? But what I am a fan of is this razor, first off and foremost, here. And what I'm going to be doing, as you can see, it came with a blade case in here, right? Well... I just pulled this off the paper out of this. This is a Gem Demanskini blade with the Demanskini stamped into it. So this is an original blade that came with this razor out of the blade bank. There's a couple others in here. But what I have decided to make this shave more special for everyone, including myself, why use a new, right, gem blade, the Persona PTFE ones that are coated? Why would we not use an original? 
So yes, I am going to be taking this original blade. I'm going to strop it and I am going to use it. So I'm going to put it into the stropping bar here. It's a snug fit like this. And I'm going to be stropping this blade. We were talking about that possibly with stropping you take it away from yourself. And what this is doing, if there's any burrs or anything like that on the blade, it's fine tuning it. So the goal is to hopefully make this as sharp as can be. As I, I'm doing this all in the name of science for you all. Because I don't know how this is going to be. I really am. Uh... <laughs> the gems of nowadays, newer gems in this razor fit, they do work and they are good. And what's great about this is this is like perfect size for this blade. It's perfect width. All right. Well. Um. Uh, I don't know if this is going to do it, boys and girls. This blade doesn't even seem to be able to take... The hair off the back of my okay, I guess it sort of does. Huh. Well, obviously they're not as sharp as they are now. Not nowadays, that's for sure. Yeah, you know, how the hell do you get this thing off of here without cutting yourself? That's the question here. Alright, got it. Okay. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and get this loaded up. Um <laughs> I guess we will see. All right, so the threads into the handle. You can put this back in the end if you choose to, or just throw it back in the box. I'm gonna throw it in the box. I'm gonna put the blade case away. My original Demand Skinny blades here. Um, I'm gonna have to go find an normal gem blade because I have a. I don't have a good feeling about this because it was kind of struggling to shave the back of my hand. Um, I have a feeling it's not gonna shave so well, but. For all the ladies and gentlemen that are joining me and will watch this, I opened up, I put it in, and we will give it a go. You can see here, it's slightly tweet. This is slightly tweet, but you know, it will work. All right, get my brush here. Load it some water, get a lather built, and go from there. Let's see what we get. I've never used a uh, soap from Master Soap Creation, so I'm not entirely for sure how this is going to work out here. Might need to add a little more water. And what I do is I kind of just drip it in my bowl here. Seems to be making a pretty good lather. All right, get my face wetted up. Use cold water, I don't like here. Warm, cold, hot, I don't give a crap. One way or the other, what I care about is a pissing branch and a shaver on. I might have, like I said, I might have to go find a chef <laughs> blade. Um, not an original 1900s blade. Yeah, that's a nice leather. Uh, lather applies nicely. It's light. It doesn't seem to be a thick type lather where you can feel the weight of it on your face. I uh, spent about 20 minutes searching for this razor because I thought I got lost. I have uh, four days growth and I was really worried because this razor is rare. It is very rare. I have never seen another open comb gem. Um, not a gem de Manskini, to be more precise. So, yeah, I don't, like I said, I'm not entirely for sure how this is going to come out. 
kind of like I thought. Really crap. This chin blade is, uh, yeah, there's no way. I can't do a full shade with it. There's no way. I know I say always the name of science, but this thing is so dull in comparison to new ones. I mean, this is new old stock. You can even see the razor thin edge on it. It's thinner than today's gem blades, but this thing is not good. Not good at all. So let me find another gem blade and we will be back. So I'm going to go ahead and pause. it. Okay, so I found another gem blade. And this is something I kind of wanted to show anyway on the channel. So, I have a pill bottle. What? No, pill bottle. Oh, wait a second, what's in that pill? That's right, so this pill bottle is filled about halfway with baby oil. And when I first started wet shaving, an old timer had told me, you want to get the maximum use out of your blades, what you do is you take them once you're done, and you soak them in baby oil after you're done. Rinse them off really good, dry them, and then soak them in baby oil. It prevents two, it does a couple things. First off, they will never rust, as this, this one's been in here who knows how long. This is a gem blade, and guess what? There's not a speck of rust on it. And the other thing that it does is it gets a oil tight coating or lubricant coating on the blade for the next time you use it. So that it helps with that, right? So, I have done that in the past. Have I done it recently? Yes, I started doing it again with the Wizomat, but I took like a couple years off where I just kind of tossed my blades, which, is bad, I know, it's wasteful for the environment and blah, 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 everything else, right? So, why don't you guys give me a try and think what you... It seemed to me that I was always able to get an extra shave, maybe a couple shaves out of them, by doing that. You rinse it really well, just kind of pat it dry, and then throw it in that baby oil, and then take it out, and you're good to go. And look at this. This blade has literally been sitting in there for at least six months, if not longer. And so smooth. That old one, piece of crap. This one is, I know, at least a second use, maybe a third use. And this old razor, and this old open comb gem, in my opinion, is the best gem that they ever made. I don't ever understand why they went away from it. Because it is so much smoother. I mean, it's got blade feel, but it is so much smoother. The menthol in this soap is very little. Now look how efficient this is. See that? Boom. Four days growth just cutting through it like nothing. I always get said, I don't like gem razors. Well, okay. Mostly true. Old gems, there's only two I like. This one, and then there's a fat handle one that resembles a gem junior made by Treat, which I have used in the past. Jonathan has one and let me use it. I just got one. It's one of the things I found when I was hunting for razors. I found one for $8 and I jumped on it. So my uh, wife and daughter came razor hunting with me for a whole extended weekend. We took the weekend before my birthday off because uh, I had uh, Juneteenth off because it's a new holiday. Doing what I do, I get lots of holidays off a year. So we went and went razor hunting out of state for a whole weekend. You believe that? My wife and my six year old daughter went with me for a whole weekend away razor hunting. Look at that. Still gotta go against the grain, but oh, such a good shave. And I'm telling you, Try the baby oil thing. Get yourself a little, uh, little pill bottle. Fill it about half full with, and then keep your blades in there and see what you think. This blade has been sitting in there at least six months. Not a speck of rust on it because the oil keeps that away. Keeps oil, keeps water away from it. 
All you do is rinse and dry and toss it in there. You know, this blade, because I don't have any of the gem blades. This is a gem blade that Jonathan gave me a couple years ago, uh, you know. Yeah, a couple years ago. I need to order some gem blades. Uh, I have not used this razor in a really long time. Um, my giant collection of razors, it was hidden. Took me a while to find it. And I was kind of flipping out about it. <laughs> I was telling the groomsmen, like, I need to find that razor because it is super rare. Never seen another one. I don't know what the value of it is. I know what I paid for it. <laughs> Ten bucks. <laughs> I know the value of it's much more than that, obviously. But if I can find it for myself for ten dollars, that's what's gonna happen, right? It has a lot of audible feedback, but I trust me, it is not as aggressive as it sounds. And sometimes it's nice to switch things up with different razors, all right? Well, you know, and you wouldn't believe it. So we went out of state for razor hunting for my birthday, the weekend prior to my actual birthday. And then guess what my wife told me last weekend? Well, what do you want to do for your birthday? Well, of course, we all know what I said. Want to go razor hunting? Again! So Saturday, we went to four different antique stores, somewhat local, within an hour drive of here. And then on Sunday, there's a big flea market, which I had done really good at in the past. But this time around, it was crap. Tons of straights, so tons of straight razors. But the point of a flea market is a good deal, right? Not to go and pay eBay prices for these things. Oh. I got a good deal on some pens, because I know a little bit about pens now. But, um... I didn't get jacked for razors. I got two straights and a good deal from one dude. I bought a Weed and Butcher and a Genco from New York with original matching box. Still in great condition and instructions in the, in the box. <clears throat> I got both those for 10 bucks each. But for the most part, man, I found jack. I found nothing. But when I went to Ohio, I found like five fat boys for like eight bucks. I found some uh, Slims for super cheap. Found some good deals, you know, elsewhere out of state, but pfft, you didn't find crap. Just lining up my stuff, cleaning them up. Because I'm the good old two pastor and I call her good. Now we're going to go ahead and get rinsed off. So, one thing I do like to rinse off, um, you know. And told cold water is the stuff. Cold water is the business, so I guess we'll give her some cold water. Let's see what we get here. Look at that. No bleeding. Two pass. Open comb. Gem de Manskini. It's a razor that, you know, if you're a collector, I'm telling you, it's got to be on your bucket list, so to speak, because it is... Has you nice smooth shave. The old blade sucks, okay? I will unfortunately can this blade because this thing sucks. Um, it has, says gem cutlery on it, but hey, you know what? I got three other used ones in there and three other new ones in there, and they suck. So now, kind of, what do I do here, right? I just rinse it off real good. This is that gem blade, right? Rinse it off, and it's dripping with water. Rinse off the razor real good. And now I'm going to take this, and take this, right? And you're going to just dry it off. For the fact that the base coat of this is oil, it's going to take all the water right off because it's coated with oil. You know, I got it nice and dry. I 
take my pill bottle with stuff in it and back in she goes. Make sure it's fully submerged like that. And it's good till next time, man. I'm telling you, I think I'd love to see some other people other than myself give it a try. And then let me know in the comments what you think of it. So when you guys watch this, hopefully soon, you know, I heard this stuff sucks. This is some art of shaving crap. I'm reading some stuff recently, and I heard art of shaving stuff ain't worth the crap. So that might get a toss. Here's my original Mars prototype. I have the original Mars prototype as the first review it. Just kind of tossing stuff in my put this in my sharps container up here. And then what everyone's probably waiting for is the splash. Shake it up. See what kind of burn and feedback we get from this. I don't think this is alcohol based is my guess. Uh, witch hazel and rose water. Zero feedback. No pain at all. That's what I'm talking about. Nice smooth shave with a razor that's over 100 years old. With, I attempted a blade, but that blade sucked. Sorry. I know I say in the name of science, but there's no way in the name of science that I was doing that. I have to send this to get replated. It's got some brassing. It's okay with me. It won't hurt my feelings to get my baby replated. Replated and look like a just absolute awesome razor. All right. Thank you for joining me, everybody. I hope that my return to the channel has brought some good stuff. We're going to be getting, uh, I've got some ideas of some new stuff that I'm planning to do. Um, I'm going to do some road trip shaves very soon. All right. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe down below. Leave your comments about the baby oil stuff. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad to be back. I miss all your lovely faces. Please remember to stay classy. Have a good day.